Back in the late 1960s, both Ford and Chevrolet used to pack them into their showrooms with their high-performance Mustangs and Camaros. Now that gas prices are easing, and with the need to do something desperate to bring those crowds back, the two biggest U.S. car divisions are once again going the high-performance route. The new hot rod flag bearers, the Ford Mustang GT and the Chevrolet Camaro Z28, are a lot more sophisticated than their forebearers, and to us, a lot more interesting. So return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear as we stage a shootout on the hot, dusty track of the Summit Point Raceway at high noon. It's an $11,500 Ford Mustang GT against a $13,000 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. These are the real McCoys, the first high-performance sporty cars to come riding out of Detroit since 1973. And they're headed for the corral at the Summit Point Raceway outside of Charlestown, West Virginia. This two-mile road racing course is first designed to challenge flat-out speed with a 3,000-foot straightaway. But 10 flat, twisty turns can also push any car's road-holding abilities to the limits. The time is early April. The track crowded with cars and drivers getting ready for the summer racing card. Both cars drew a lot of attention to their generally sleek styling and to all the extra body work Detroit has added to send the message that these cars mean business. The Camaro Z28, all new this year, has the most sophisticated look and the cleanest aerodynamic shape. It's really a refinement of the long hood, short deck, teardrop that's been a Camaro trademark for 15 years. The Mustang GT has a similar shape, perhaps a bit less refined. But with its aggressive grill, rear spoiler, and all that black chrome, it's definitely the meanest looking of the pair. But in both cars, it was the drivetrain that sparked the most interest. The 3,370 pound Z28 is home to a Chevy 5 liter, 305 cubic inch V8, breathing through a four barrel carburetor. It delivers 145 horsepower and 240 pounds of torque through a four-speed manual gearbox. We could have opted for the more powerful fuel-injected 5-liter engine, but it's only available with an automatic transmission, hardly the best thing for road racing. The Mustang GT was fitted with the high-output version of its vintage 5-liter 302 cubic inch V8. 157 horses and 240 pounds of torque are delivered by a huge two-barrel carb through a Ford-made four-speed manual. Since the more powerful Mustang also weighed in at 150 pounds lighter, it was easy to see that the early money would be bet on brute force. But now to the showdown. Our first exercise will be a pure measure of straight-line performance, a no-holes-barred quarter-mile drag race. Summit Point's backstretch was perfect for the match-off. Though we expected the Mustang to show a faster draw right off the bat, that wasn't the case. At the start, both cars moved off the line nearly together. This wasn't so much a tribute to Chevy engineering as it was a lack of traction from the Mustang's Michelin TRX tires. They're great on corners, but not suited for dragging. What you get is loads of wheel spin. The cars were pretty even until about mid-course, when the greater Mustang power and lighter weight pulled the GT some three and a half car lengths ahead for the finish. Time differential was much closer than expected. A quarter mile time of 15.93 seconds and a speed of 85 miles per hour for the Ford product. At less than three tenths back, the Camaro Z28 with a time of 16.22 seconds, but a more leisurely 79 miles per hour. If the Mustang had been fitted with the Camaro's stickier Goodyear Eagle NCTs, the difference would have been much greater. The Mustang would probably have approached a 15-second quarter mile. But now to the second test. Which car could navigate the Summit Point road course the fastest? Drivers were told to be daring, but not to push the cars beyond comfortable limits. Since it was winners first, the Mustang GT took first dibs. Down the back stretch, our deep red stallion moved. That greater speed also meant harder braking into turns one and two, known as the loop. It was obvious that the Mustang took firm driver control to prevent spins. Then there's a short straightaway into a tight left turn known as the wagon bend, and over a blind rise to a series of tricky switchbacks, turn four, the chute, then turn five. But rear swing out and lost time plagued the Mustang. 
around toward the grandstand through turn six, called the carousel, then seven, eight, and nine. The Mustang rolls more than we'd like with brakes wearing hot, thin, and mushy. Then a long uphill straight through the infill bridge and around turn 10 by the pit road to the finish. Time, one minute, 52.4 seconds for a lap speed of 64.06 miles per hour. And now the Camaro. Through the long backstretch, its speed was less than the Mustang, but control was better. Both cars had quick steering, but the Z28 provided more feel for the driver, made it much smoother through turns one and two. Although a picture is worth a lot of words, through the wagon bend and over the rise to the chute, they can also be deceiving. The Camaro doesn't look like it's being pushed. It is smooth and well balanced. Through the carousel and back towards the grandstand, the car shows little roll. Good, modulated power steering gives the driver all the input he needs to navigate the bends. Back towards the bridge and the start-finish line, we knew that the Z28 was more stable, but would its lower power still produce a winner? The answer was yes. Time around the two-mile circuit was 1 minute, 50.3 seconds, and a lap speed of 65.28 miles per hour. A 2.1 second and a 1.22 mile per hour advantage over the more powerful Mustang GT. A huge advantage in any race. So what did we prove? Both these showroom stock high performance cars are a far cry from the muscle cars of the 60s. As for our test, it's a one to one tie. If your taste is stoplight dragging, the Ford Mustang GT is without a doubt the fastest car made in America. And we found it actually gets 15 miles to the gallon in normal driving. But if it's sophisticated handling you want with a good dose of speed, then the Chevrolet Camaro Z28 is your baby. And you have to call it the best handling car made in America, all with an everyday mileage of 19. And what of the future? Next fall, the Z28 will have a 5.7 liter fuel injected V8. And over at Ford, work is going on for a better handling and even more powerful Mustang. So next year, the race should be even closer.